It's called Club Run Disney. We offer a range of perks and special VIP benefits. Oh my goodness. I am just so glad that I'm out of there. That was about three or four queues. I arrived at 10 o'clock. It is just after 12 o'clock now. So two hours for merchandise and queues. I still need to go get my bib. I still need to pick up my t-shirts. Um, and there's a few things I want to pick up, some gels and maybe a little tiara headband. So I get really anxious at these things because there's so little time to do so much because I have to work. So I'm going to go get on it. Okay, next stop to the Fields House building for packet pickup, which is where I can print off my waiver and collect my bib. So, waiver is signed and we've headed over to collect our bibs from these little stalls everywhere. These ones are the fairy tale challenge. And they have all the bib numbers, so you know which one to go up to. It's got my bib, it's got my name on it. And I am in class C for the 10K and G for the half. So I know the C is definitely not the back of the 10K. And I don't think the G is the back of the half, so. So good. Okay, so I got my bib. That took like a fraction of the time that it took to get in merchandise. Uh, pick up any commemorative items and pick up any actual merchandise I wanted to buy. It was crazy. I'm slightly stressed. I'm going to stop for a sec. So, I've just come out of the HP hall where I have my bib. So, I need to take this. There's a little bit in the top that they'll rip off and it will be my t shirts over in the athletic center. Um, it's a good thing I've done this before. I think if it's your first time ever coming, it can get a bit daunting and stressful. I guess I find it stressful in general, uh, mainly because I'm not here all day and I can't just take my time. I'm not on vacation, so I can't come back up tomorrow. I need to get all this done now. <laughs> so I came up for an opening. I slept in a little bit because I was tired, so I came up for 10 o'clock when it opened. If you do want to beat all those queues and get in early, then I recommend getting here a lot earlier. Um, I had plans to get here for about quarter past nine. Didn't happen, so it's my own fault. But I'm here now. I have my merchandise, I have my bib. So I'm gonna head over to the third hall, which is up here as well with the bib collection. There are signs everywhere, so there's no issue finding anything. And that is where the main expo is, and I lose all my money. Okay, so building number three in the entrance is up at the end here. Signs everywhere. And this is where all the good stuff is. So Sheer's Cinderella is the half marathon, Pocahontas is a 10, and Moana is 5k. I'm behaving this week because I've mainly just spent a ton of money in their Disney official merch but I also have a lot of stuff from here that I bought at the last expo but there's also some freebies you can get Geico's at the back they'll often do freebies with a spinning wheel and up the back to the left here is the t-shirt pickup so that's where I'm going to head first before I get lost in here there are friends in here somewhere no idea where
this. I've got things that I needed to get, things that I didn't need to get. And I'm gonna go chill out and grab some food now somewhere. Um, now that that's over, when you have a full day to do it, it's so much easier, but on a time schedule, it's a little bit more nerve wracking. These are the t-shirts this year. There's Pocahontas it's with the 10K, Cinderella for the half marathon, and a fairy tale challenge, which is these two races combined. I am really liking these t-shirts this year. I am loving the colors on them. They're very bright and bold. And yeah, I really like them. I was a bit disappointed with the wine and dine ones. They're not really colors that I wear too often and they're long sleeved. So I love when it comes into the spring and we get short sleeve t-shirts. So we pick up the t-shirts. Um, which are pretty awesome and then I grabbed some other bits and pieces. I didn't really need any gels I've got them from the last few runs I've done so I was okay with that. I picked up a new sparkle skirt because I've been wanting a gold one for a while um, And I think that's all I really got from there Surprisingly. Oh, I got some compression sleeves. I usually use compression socks on my legs but I ripped apart a lot of my heel last time and I found it difficult with wanting to use biofreeze at a lot of the stops because I was having to pull down my sock the whole way so I'm hoping with just the calf sleeves um, it's going to be a lot easier so we'll wear them for I don't usually wear them for 10k but we'll see I'll definitely wear them for the half marathon um, try to walk in my new shoes which I may or may not wear in for the half marathon really I haven't thought this event through guys if you're doing a run Disney event think it through <laughs> So, for as long as I can remember, the footmen have been doing a meet and greet with Glass Slipper. They have a carriage this year, which I haven't seen before, which is really pretty cool. So, I of course had to go get a picture with them. And now I have everything that I need, plus more, and I'm heading back to my car because it's getting really, really hot and I'm melting a bit. I think it's meant to drop a little over the weekend for the princess run. Otherwise, this heat is going to be horrible for running. But hopefully, the humidity is not going to kick in for until maybe an hour into sunrise. But I'm going to head back to my car now. I have work to get to, so I'm going to freshen up a little just because it's very humid out today. And then head on over to make the pennies for everything that I have just spent. Okay, I don't know how much of that recorded. So I was walking and could not see a thing because of the glare, which is always good. But I am back at my car now. I am heading off to work shortly. I've been to the expo this morning. I definitely recommend if you're running short of time then to leave some time for it. Um, that took me two hours for the official Disney merchandise today. And I took some time shopping because I went up and down all the rails to have a look but that took almost two hours or over two hours and that was insane. Um, I did come opening because I'd had an experience like this before and I didn't want to fall into that experience again. So yeah, if you're on a time limit or you just don't want to be there all day, get there early, um, have a plan of action, have an idea, look at the event guide online beforehand so you have a general idea of where you're going most like generally i'll start at the bottom at the disney merch because that gets busier as the day goes on then head up because i know my bib is there i know my t-shirts are there they're not going anywhere i'm gonna crank on this ac um shh. okay so i am about to head off to work shortly that is the ac kicking in thank god for ac um so i am gonna head over to work now stay tuned if you follow me on instagram you can keep up with all my daily adventures especially for this run weekend i will post be posting a lot on my instagram which is de at dev explores i will also be trying to vlog my experience with the 10k and the half marathon at this princess run weekend so those videos should be coming shortly after this one after the weekend when i've probably exhausted myself but until then if you have enjoyed this video remember to hit subscribe down below high five that little like button and i will see all of you in the next video so have a magical day